After he was warned against his swimming in Spain, since a bumper crop of fierce jellyfish was stinging bathing tourists, the English Premier thought he knew better. Effortlessly superior, he strode into the waves, but the long tentacles of a blue fleshy blob sought out a kindred spirit. A large jellyfish saw someone who stings the poor, someone who attacks innocent people with poisonous weapons, starting with Libya still in agony, someone who bombs Afghanistan with RAF drones, and who's keen to bomb Syria, a country that needs no more bombing. When the Prime Minister met his gelatinous soulmate, he triggered toxic harpoons, the nematocysts filled with exploding venom which pierced his Tory skin. The brave leader yelped, wishing everyone to share in his suffering. His stiff upper lip quivered and trembled in pain. He wanted his mum. But help was at hand. An expat on the beach, Alan Lambert, suggested the traditional cure. Someone has to pee on the affected area. Any volunteers? There was no shortage. Bathers with full bladders eagerly queued up to deactivate the stinging cells with urine, rich in ammonia and natural salts. The more concentrated it is, said Alan, the more effective. Someone remembered an episode of Friends in which Chandler had to urinate on Monica after she'd been stung. The Prime Minister was looking alarmed. He summoned his bodyguards in case anyone started to get ideas. He imagined shielding himself from squirting willies and golden showers from Costa del Chippy in Lanzarote. Clutching their scrotums, the proletariat advanced in holiday mood. Can you imagine a naked premier, pink and prostrate and steaming with yellow liquid? The indignity. Yet nothing compared to Gaddafi's death. The extrajudicial stabbing by special forces of Libya's leader, which Britain approved. Nor to Cameron's selling arms to Bahrain, a poisonous regime which tortures prisoners and executes opponents. Now, just imagine poor Dave pleading, My kingdom for an umbrella or a full body condom, as he drowns in common people's piss. And on his return home to Downing Street, he's greeted by long queues of more and more people, stung by his vindictive austerity measures. They're all of them hoping to strip him bare and to have the satisfaction of voting in a robust fashion with their bladders.